Praise and grind y'all. My name is Bree. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. This is officially my first YouTube video that I posted and I intend to leave on my channel. Um, this is my journey with purchasing a property through the Detroit Land Bank. Um, this is video number one. If you don't know who the Detroit Land Bank is, it is a program out of Detroit that um, gives people like me an opportunity to invest in property at an affordable price. But I live in Texas. I invested a property in Detroit. Let's get right to it. So I'm going to be looking at my iPad for some notes. Step number one is to create a, an account with buildindetroit.org. It is free. There's no charge for that. Uh, you just put in your name, your address. It doesn't have to be a Detroit address. Um, you can put a card on file uh, where your deposit will be withdrawn from. And that's about it for that. The second one is to create a business entity that operates out of Detroit. What I did is I went through LegalZoom. I know it's expensive, but I was just kind of... I went through LegalZoom before and I like um, just everything, how they have, they give you your operating agreement, your EIN number, um, and so forth. It just, it was easier for me. Just research, research on the type of property that you want. I actually purchased an ebook from Jasmine Garner. Um, shout outs to her. Her ebook was um, really, really. A ton of information and she also emailed me a whole bunch of other information which I'm so appreciative for and um, she's a really sweet lady and she's definitely um, doing it big in Detroit so shout outs to her I'll link her videos on um, the under this video also so I bought her ebook and it was really affordable I don't remember the price I bought her ebook and I studied what kind of districts um, that she suggested that were up and coming. When you find the property you want to bid on, go ahead and place your bid. So what I did is I placed my bid. Um, someone was already bid on that property. There was one more person and the bid starts at a thousand dollars. So I just put, it's a blind bid, so you don't know what they bid. And I didn't want to lose the property, so I believe I put 1500 You bid what you can afford, right? So I put 1500 and and um, the bid ended. So I got an email saying, I'll know within five to seven days on um, when I will find out if I won the bid or not and I was bummed because I was like man I have to wait five to seven days and I just wanted it you know so anxious I wanted the process going so no lie three hours later I had an email saying congratulations you're the winning bidder on this property I was so excited I couldn't sleep like I couldn't sleep this was like seven in the morning and I stayed up all day I was like, man, I just like won a property. That's crazy. So after I bid on the property and I got the congratulations email from the Detroit Land Bank, um, an agent actually called me that same day to confirm um, my winning bid. And she was letting me know she was going to be sending an email that required documents. And they had three days to submit those documents. And the documents were a driver's license, my articles of organization because I was purchasing with a business entity, and um, it's called an affidavit of authority of signers. Um, it has to be notarized. This is just saying that all parties involved within your company um, have to sign that paper, um, basically. So what I did is I got that notarized. You have to do that within three days. Once you submit that information, 
you will go ahead and go to the next step. The next step is once you submit your um, information, they review it and they make sure you're qualified. Um, about three or four days later, they'll take out that $1,000 from your account and they will hold that money until you actually um, close, right? So it's um, like a down payment kind of. So even if I bid $1,500, they only held $1,000 out my account. The next step after they withdraw the money was about two days later where they um, sent a contract out where I had to e-sign the contract, the purchase agreement, and um, I had to submit that within a couple days as well. About two weeks later, I got an email from a closing specialist letting me know that they were ready to schedule um, my in-person closing date. So not only do you have to sign the contract in your email, you have to actually fly to Detroit or go to in-person if you live in Detroit, go in-person to the closing company and sign the paperwork and close the deal. This is where you will have to bring the closing cost. In that email that you get, um, they will tell you everything. They will break down everything that is owed um, and that you what you need to bring to the closing table. You can only play, pay with a cashier's check or a money order. They don't accept any other forms of payment. The closing table, y'all. When I got to the closing table, I was so nervous for this day. I actually flew out to Detroit with doubts, right? I was like, am I doing the right thing? Am I moving too fast? Um, you know, I don't know anyone in Detroit. I don't, um, I never been to Detroit. And what am I getting myself into? But it, it's just crazy how God works because on the same flight that I am, um, as I was sitting on the plane and we landed, I look up and I see a familiar face, right? I see a very familiar face. And I look at my YouTube and it's a fellow YouTuber, I don't know her, but I didn't know her at the time, but I was following her because on YouTube, there's only about eight people that is uh, filming their journey with the Detroit Land Bank. And her name, her YouTube name is Morning Mess Edition. I will link her video down in the, in the um, comments below, but uh, I looked at my page and I was like, hey, is this you? Like, you know, like I'm here to sign and close on my property. And she was like, oh my God, yeah, that's me. And, you know, we talked forever. We talked so much and it just like clarified that I was making a, a good decision because I needed a sign at the moment. I was doubting myself and out of all flights out of all days I had the lady that I've been watching on YouTube who does the same thing with the Detroit Land Bank so you know take risk you know take calculated risk you know I mean I spend money on food and other things I feel like what can I lose with purchasing a property from Detroit? I know a lot of people have different opinions and that's okay. But with my situation, I know I'm trying to build general, general wealth for my daughter. And I feel like real estate is the only way. What other, where else can you find a property under $2,000, under $5,000? Like where? Even if the property was really bad, you can still keep the land and resell it or, you know, so that's my process, y'all. That was my journey. 
um, the next step that I'm in right now is getting uh, my property cleaned up for my first set of pictures that I need to submit with um, the land bank because you are um, required to send pictures every 30 days of your progress. So I that will be the next video. If you have any comments, concerns, questions, hit me up. Peace.